Welcome to webbikeworld.com. This is a quick look and preview of the new Senna 20S motorcycle intercom system. For the full review, photos, and all the details, please visit webbikeworld.com. This is a first quick look at the Senna 20S to briefly introduce some of its features. We'll have a full and very detailed review coming next, and that will be published on webbikeworld.com. The 20S is an evolution of the SMH10, shown to the right of the 20S here, and we also added the SMH5 and an Interphone F5MC for comparison, all of which have been reviewed on webbikeworld.com. The 20S has a nicer build quality than previous Senna intercoms. It has a slightly lower profile than the SMH10, which introduced the jog dial concept. The 20S has a flat jog dial in place of the dome-shaped dial of the SMH10. The SMH5 is smaller and the Interphone F5 is the low profile champ. The F5 is more of a direct competitor to the 20S than the SMH5. The connection pins on the SMH10 are gone, replaced by flat contacts on the 20S. The 20S now has two buttons and the jog dial and it has a lot more features, so it's a bit more complicated to use than the SMH10 and certainly the SMH5. It also has a new button on the bottom of the helmet mount to allow you to hear sounds outside of the helmet. There's a port in front to plug in a set of earbuds or auxiliary earphones, and many owners will be happy about that. The port in the rear is for connecting auxiliary wire devices. The silver button releases the intercom body from the helmet mount. The rocket-shaped mic is new. It has a little fin that lets you know where the front is. In the rear is the actual mic opening. It's placed on a nice stiff but flexible boom. The speakers are new with a chrome surround that you probably won't see anyway once they're mounted in a helmet. The sound quality is excellent and it seems improved over the already good SMH10, but the speakers seem a bit thicker, although we haven't measured them yet. The 20S now has an antenna that's supposed to add range. Cena claims a 2 km range compared to 900 meters for the SMH10. The 20S module slides onto the helmet mount and press hard to snap it on. It's difficult to remove, at least on the four that we have here. Press the silver button and pull really hard to remove it, so the tolerancing on the plastic mating surfaces is probably pretty tight. The 20S has a claimed 13 hours of talk time compared to 12 for the SMH10. It has an 8-way multi-intercom compared to 4 for the SMH10. It has a group intercom, which the SMH10 didn't have. It can pair with up to nine devices compared to three for the SMH10. There's also a smartphone app to allow you to change the settings on the 20S, set the radio stations, and add speed dial phone numbers. The 20S now has a built-in FM radio also. A new feature is audio multitasking, which allows you to hear music or GPS instructions as you're talking on the intercom. For example, the music will still play in the background and you can set the background volume as you're having a conversation. The 20S also has music sharing and it can connect with other brands of intercoms. It also has a somewhat crude voice command system. It has NFC or near field communication capability, so you can pair it with other Bluetooth devices that have NFC, but you have to first remove the intercom module from the helmet mount to do that. It also has the ambient mode, press the button on the bottom of the helmet mount to hear sounds or conversation outside the helmet, although that takes priority over any intercom connections. There is some issue with the FM radio range on the current 20S, but Senna is working on that, and they're also coming out with a firmware update. The 20S is a little more complicated to use with two buttons and the jog dial, so you'll probably have to carefully study the owner's manual and bring along a copy of the cheat sheet until you get the hang of it. Nine, Let's take a look at what comes in the kit. This is a single 20S system for illustration. You get an auxiliary device cable, a USB cable, speaker spacers, a wired boom mic, a wired mic, stick-on helmet mounts, extra grip pads for the mount, an Allen wrench to attach the helmet mount, sticky hook and loops for the speakers, the reference card you'll probably need, and a full printed owner's manual, which is also available in PDF format. So that's a quick look at the Senna 20S intercom or motorcycle communication system. 
For all the details, photos, and the full review, please visit webbikeworld.com. Thanks for watching.